Hello everyone, I'm Brad Friesen. I'm the sales manager at Elmer's Manufacturing. Today we're at Manitoba Ag Days in Brandon, Manitoba. And uh, I'd like to take you through a quick walkthrough on our grain cart so you know what it's all about. Before we get to that though, I'd like to give a few shout outs to uh, some very important people. Shout out number one is for all the custom harvesters and the farmers that have given us jumper seat time uh, to de develop this cart. Your, uh, your time was, was very valuable to us and I hope you're impressed with what we've done here. Number two, I'd like to give a shout out to all the engineers that have worked on this cart. Without you guys, this wouldn't have come to fruition. So without further ado, let's, let's take a look at the 2020 Hallmaster. All right, first thing you'll probably notice about our grain cart is the huge windows. Uh, always the first comment that we get at every trade show. Uh, nice big windows while you're combining. People can actually uh, see the grain going into the cart. It helps you balance out your cart better while you're, while you're loading. The other really nice thing about those windows, there's another window in the back. So when you're sitting in your combine, going down the road wanting to make a left hand turn, you can take a look through those windows instead of doing that, that uh, grain cart driver weave. Second thing you'll probably notice about this cart in particular, it's got a right hand auger. You know, this is just one of the things that, that we offer that, to my knowledge, nobody else in North America offers. You can choose between either a left hand or a right hand auger. All right. Some of the other features that are included in the Hallmaster Pro. Second biggest ask of anybody on, on the custom harvest crew, get rid of the belts. What we've done here is we've gone with a direct drive gearbox. Uh, it, the, the drag auger and the unload auger are both driven by this gearbox. And you're probably wondering, what happens if I slug this gearbox? No problem. It's as simple as pulling down a lever. No tools required. Right now, with that movement that I did on this lever, the drag auger doesn't work and you can unload your unload auger. Once it's uh, done unloading, you re-engage it and once again your drag auger works so you can get that cleaned out as well. So that's, that's one of the really nice things. By doing this, we actually eliminate a lot of the height that was required on, on the grain carts. In the old system, and like many of our competitors, a drag auger would dump down into a sump. The sump would be way down here, in our case probably even dragging in the ground. From there, you'd, you'd take your corn up and away. Because we did this, we were able to drop our carts. And on average, from 2018 to 2019, we dropped our carts on average 14 inches, which is huge. That was the number one ask of, of all the farmers that we, we pulled, drop your carts, make them lower. So got that done as well. Coming in a little closer here, uh, we pay a lot of attention to detail. Uh, the detail here is everything is very well labeled. Now this system that we have here is what we call our Hallmaster Pro. So there's only one circuit that does all your auger functions and this extra circuit here that's for the optional hydraulic jack. If you were going with a regular system which we do offer as well you would have four circuits to control your your auger and um, they would be very well labeled. You would know exactly which hose extends and which one retracts so you'd know how to put them into your uh, hydraulic circuits at the back of your tractor. Best five dollars ever spent? Right here. Can you, uh, can you get in on that? PTO hanger. Very simple, but we're farmers too. We don't want our PTO to be hanging in the dirt. I also don't want to disconnect it from the drive box and go put it on the side of the cart. Very convenient, nice and out of the way, not very expensive. Thinking of you. Coming around to this side, I'm sure I'm going to get accused of saying, pronouncing this wrong. Canada here, we say it's a decal. You might call it a decal if you're in the States. I'll call it a sticker just so I don't get in any trouble. But our gate indicator sticker and any sticker on our cart, nice and bright, very visible. You know, it's user friendly. Uh, beside the, the decal, uh, we have a couple of things that you probably wouldn't normally see on your cart. Uh, this gauge here. This cart is equipped with tracks. This is the hydraulic tensioning for those tracks. So while you're in your uh, tractor, you can actually just turn around and see what your track pressure is doing. Uh, this is a closed circuit right now. Uh, if you want to charge your tracks, all you do is open this ball valve and fold or unfold your auger. That will tension or detension your tracks. That simple, no tools required. Keep moving around here. Um, I, I forgot to mention on the auger, 
Uh, we do have the largest pivoting range. Uh, we're 61 degrees. The cart that you see in front of you, it comes down to eight foot three and all the way up to 17 foot two. So huge pivoting range for all different applications. Uh, I'm sure you're gonna love it. Second, uh, fastest fold and unfold in the industry. Give or take, we're about 15 seconds to unfold and 10 seconds to fold. That's gonna save you a minute uh, of unloading time compared to most competitors. Come on, let's go to this side of the cart and take a look to see what we got going on over here. Uh, still looking at the cart. You'll notice our cart is a bolt together design. This design does cost us a little bit more to manufacture, but it gives you a lot of benefits. Benefit number one, we can powder coat all these panels. They stay looking better longer and you're gonna you know, keep the value in your investment. Number two, if you ever do damage a, a panel, you know, back into a combine or whatever it is, you can replace the panel. So very good that way. Uh, one thing you probably don't notice, and I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see it from where you are, but our lines on our cart are perfectly straight. We don't get that weld weave that happens from the heat buildup on, on the welding. So better looking cart, better looking longer, and keeps its value longer. All right, coming on over, I did mention up front there that we are uh, we got some tracks in this cart. Uh, these are what we call our long tracks. They're 36 inches by 170 inches long. Uh, we also do offer what we call a transfer track that we would put on our 1100 and 1300 bushel carts. Uh, we also provide that same transfer track to many competitor carts as well. It simply bolts onto a standard 10 bolt egg hub. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's super easy. It comes with fork pockets, lift it up, 10 bolts, and, and you're good to go. Big differences with our tracks. I did mention the hydraulic tensioning. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see it here, but there's a cylinder right in here that's providing tension on the tracks. Uh, this tension helps your track roll easier and reduces heat buildup. The other things I wanna point out on the, on the cart here, on the tracks, uh, we have gone with a 16 inch bogey wheel. Our competitors are typically 12 and 14 inch. That accounts for about 25% less revolutions. So uh, you got easier bearing wear and, and a lot less maintenance. And speaking of maintenance, with the oil bath hubs, it's as simple as just taking a look. Yes, I have oil, I got oil, I got oil, I got oil. Everything is good. And then for grease, two grease spots on that pin, one on that one and two on that one. That is your daily maintenance. And in addition to that, you got three grease banks here. The grease banks are gonna grease either side of your uh, pivoting cylinder for two of them. And the bottom one will do your angle adjust. So very easy to maintain, uh, even less maintenance than uh, with guys that have auto greasers uh, with grease bath, uh, greased hubs. Um, yeah, so there you go with that. I'd also like to talk about the track itself. We've gone with a wider lower lug. What this will do for you is reduce your compaction, increase your flotation, but it also reduces your berming and the stress that it puts on the cart uh, when you're turning a corner. This is almost like a book on a countertop, so it's, it's a really nice track. Still on the side, I, I should have turned these lights on, but we have side marker lights. They're all LED. All the, all the lights on this cart are LED. Um, one other one I didn't point out is the big uh, light bar on the auger, and there's another big light inside the tank. All LED, very bright, low battery consumption, and yeah, you're, you're going to love them. Moving to the back of the cart, we've got all sorts of features here. I think what we'll do is we'll start by going into the cart and um, yeah, you'll see that we have a very, very good ladder system here, handrails and everything else. It's very easy to climb up into the cart. A lot of the competitors don't, don't even go with the ladder on their carts at all. Uh, if you join me inside the cart here, we'll take a look inside and, and see how easy it is to get in as well. Yeah, so now as we climb into the cart, you're going to see that I got a nice ladder inside here. No problem getting in, really no risk of falling. We've, uh, we've made this as user friendly as possible. Inside the cart here are our nice big grates, easy to move around. I can move to the front of the cart, no problem, and back. Yeah, so actually while we're in here, let's talk about the slopes as well. If you, if you just take a look around here inside the cart, there's really no place for grain to hang up. 
Uh, we've, we've gone into very high moisture corn, 30% plus, and uh, everything flows very smoothly. So you'll be really impressed if you're one of those high moisture guys in, in the southern states there, Kansas, Nebraska. We're, we're going to see a lot of these carts over there. Let's head back down and uh, keep going around. Okay, here we are at the back of the cart. Um, not a lot to show you here, but some pretty important stuff. One of the features that we came out with this last year, and mostly because of the custom harvesters, thank you guys very much, is the optional tow hitch. And as you can see, this is no, you know, let's tow a pickup behind the, the cart. You can use it to tow a header if you want. It's built heavy duty and it's built to pull. The other thing you'll see here is I've, I've got the wrench. I, I pulled this out of the toolbox that, that's up front. Um, with this wrench, we can open the gate, uh, the clean out gate, all the way front to back. So if you're changing crops, if you're a seed guy, this is what you need. Uh, once we open this gate and take a look underneath, you'll see that uh, it is open all the way front to back and that there's a pretty good gap at the bottom of the auger and uh, that will help you clean it all the way out. So I'll just uh, give this a good tug here. It is pretty tight right now because it's a new cart. Now my gate is all the way open, all the way front to back. And then when I close it back up, it's an over center. Give it, give it a good push here and it's locked in place so you don't have to worry about uh, the, the gate coming open again and, and losing your grain. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much in the back end here what we got going on. Uh, you know, I hope you liked the tour that we had. Uh, we're going to be posting a bunch of links down at the bottom of, of this page. Uh, so you guys can click on stuff. Uh, there is all sorts of information about the Hall Master that's, that's down there and what we offer. So thanks for uh, joining me on this little tour and I hope you enjoy the rest of our pages as well. And I'll see you during harvest. Have a good one.